everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have a really great video for you because I have another massive coloring book haul, flip through and review video. I have acquired quite a few coloring books over the last month or two. Some of them are new releases and others have been around for a little while. If you've seen my previous videos where I do my haul, flip through, and reviews, you know that when I do them, I like to show you the book and talk a little bit about the book and the paper inside the book and which pencils will perform best on the paper in those books. So if you are interested in seeing this video and lots of beautiful new coloring books, stick around. If you see anything in this video that you really, really love and you want to purchase for yourself, I will always have the links down in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get into this video. The first book I have here is Joanna Basford's World of Wonder, a coloring book for the curious. I actually have a flip through already and a bit of a review on my channel. So I will go ahead and link that one up in the card so you can find that in the upper right hand corner. So I'm not gonna flip through this one in this video just because I already have a video of this one, but I wanted to be able to feature this one here in this video just because it is one of the newer releases. The first book I have here is Maria Trolle's new release, Luna. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the front cover, all this purple, and I love how she does her gold embossing on all of her books, as well as the gold spine. And if we open the book up, as with all of her books, we have this black front here on the inside of the front cover, and then the black first page. And those of you that have seen her books before, you know that throughout her books, let me see if I can find one, but she has the black pages, like this one here, which look really, really cool when you add color to them, and the color just really stands out. So if you're someone who likes to go in and make backgrounds later on, she has quite a few pages sporadically throughout the entire coloring book that feature the black background. Now as far as the paper in these books, you all that have been following me or been subscribed to my channel for quite some time, you know that I love the paper in these books. That is one of my favorite things about any of the Maria Trolle books. The paper is beautiful. It is nice and thick. I would say it is probably comparable to about 80 pound paper. It is not a bright white, it's a little bit more of an off-white color. The pencils that I have found that work best in these books are the Arteza pencils, the Prismacolors, and I've also used the 120 square Brute Funer colored pencils in this book and they work beautifully. And if you have been watching my videos, if you've been watching my videos for quite some time, you've seen a lot of tutorials where I've used Artezas and I've used Prismacolors and I've used uh, the 120 Brute Funer colored pencils in this book and they all just perform fabulous. I have not tried any other oil-based pencils in this book, such as the Polychromos, but I plan to and I will let you know how I feel about those pencils in this book. I'm trying to um, use my polychromos a little bit more, and I want to be able to bring y'all some videos where I use my polychromos, so look for that to come hopefully soon. But we're going to go ahead and do the flip through of this book now, and I'm going to set that portion to music. Thank you. 
Now what I did not mention in the beginning that I just wanted to show you all, if you've never had any of Maria Trolle's books before, if you turn to the back of the book, it gives you the scientific name for every one of the flowers that you see on the pages throughout the book. So what I have done is I have just taken the word and typed it into Google to see exactly what flower it is or what colors are in that flower. And then I will try to color that flower so that it looks more realistic. So that is Maria Trolle's new release, Luna. It's a beautiful book. This is also a new release. This is Circle of Life, A Coloring Journey. And I am not even going to try to pronounce the name on this book because I know that I'm going to mess it up really, really badly. But I saw pictures of this book in my Facebook group and I knew that I had to have it. That is an absolutely beautiful book. I can't wait to color in it now that I have time. I just finished a huge project that I was working on. So now I have a little bit more time to focus on coloring myself and being able to focus more on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is a gorgeous book and we are going to look at it just a little bit. So it has a little message here on the inside cover of the book. It just says, this captivating coloring book will take you on a journey through our fascinating natural world. And then again, many, and I cannot pronounce that last name, beautiful illustrations, many of which explore circular design, celebrate the rhythms of our planet. In the sky, you'll meet dancing hummingbirds and soaring eagles. Beneath the waves, you'll encounter intricate seashells, delicate seahorses, and mighty whales. On rugged landscapes, you'll cross paths with wild squirrels, foxes, wolves, and countless other fascinating creatures. Coloring is a relaxing, calming activity, and we hope you'll enjoy adding color to your circle of life. So every image in here is going to be put into a circle, and of course that's why it's called Circle of Life. So the paper in this book is really nice, and I think it's about, I don't know, it feels a little bit less thick than the Maria, Maria Trolle book, and it is smoother than the paper in the Maria Trolle books, if you're familiar with those and you have some of those already. In your collection but the artwork in this book is just so amazing and I'm not gonna read through every single thing here because there are I'm sure plenty of flip throughs for this book online but I wanted to be able to add this one into this video because it is just such a gorgeous book for those of you that have not seen a flip through yet just feeling the paper it has a little bit of tooth and the paper feels more equivalent to like a my 67 pound paper. It is a little bit thinner and it is smoother than the paper in the Maria Trolle books and it but it does feel like it has a little bit of tooth. So if I were to guess, I would guess that your polychromos probably work uh, really nicely in these books because polychromos generally work on my books like Erie where the paper is a little bit smoother and I would say Prismacolors probably work fabulous in this book because my Prismacolors they work fabulously whether I've got a lot of tooth to work with or I have more of a smoother coloring book. So let's go ahead and do a complete flip through of this book and I'm going to set that to music.
have a brand new release by Color It. It is a new mandalas book. If you have watched my videos before, you all know that I have featured their mandalas books in some of my videos for adult coloring for beginners because I think that these books are a really great place to start if you are a beginner. We will have to flip through this one together. I will be seeing this book with you for the very first time. As you can see, I've not even yet opened it. It's still in its wrapping. This book was only released, I believe, maybe a little more than a week ago. So we are both seeing it for the very first time. Okay, so here's the front cover, and as with all of Color It's coloring books, they are all spiral bound at the top, and the paper is fabulous. Y'all know I always rave about their paper in their books. Their paper is smoother in these books, and it would work well, really, really well with markers. I had a video where I showed their last newer release, and I colored with markers with colored pencils over it and it was their jungle book and it turned out absolutely beautiful. I'll link that in the upper right hand corner if you've not yet seen that. But let's go ahead and take a look at this book. Here is the front page. The color of books are really great because you get perforations on the pages and of course it is spiral brown bound like I suggested earlier. This is your blotter page that you can tear out if you want to. And it just says focus, relax, relax and escape into coloring bliss. And then down here, it's got a few color palettes for you or ideas for some of the pages inside the book. I think that's really cool. And then here you can just scan this. QR code up here and it will take you directly to, it looks like their book club. And so here is some of the images in the book. Their mandala books are really, really beautiful. And some of them are like this where they just cover the whole entire page. And then this one is really neat because you've got the mandala here and then you've got the corners. This one would look really great with a background. Now in these books, like I said, the paper is rather smooth. I have used gel pens in these books. I've used markers in these books. I've used my colored pencils in this book. I actually did a video where I did some gel, pl gel pen blending and it was really, really cool. And my gel pens, my color it gel pens, my favorite gel pens ever, they blended really beautifully in this book. I highly recommend color it gel pens if you don't already have some good quality gel pens. Their gel pens are fabulous. But all of color it's books are really great quality. And they have several coloring books to choose from. Several coloring books. If you use the link down below, it will take you to their website and you can explore a little bit and check out some of their other coloring books. They have one book that I really want to get my hands on that I don't yet have. I can't remember exactly what it's called, sweet treats or sweet desserts or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but it's just all food like cupcakes and cookies and cakes and things like that. And I don't know, I just have been wanting to try my hand at coloring food because I've just, I don't know, I've never, that's something I've never colored before. Oh, I think I'm skipping some pages here. Here's another one where we have the mandala. That's a gorgeous mandala. But we have the mandala here, and then we've got the four corners, and you can cover this one with a gorgeous black background. Can you imagine if you did a bunch of neon colors here and then did a black background? Oh, my goodness, that would be so, so gorgeous.
Here's another one where we just have the mandala that covers the entire page. These books are really great for beginners because this really gives you an opportunity to practice your blending skills. And really to practice your blending skills on no matter what medium you're using because if you are using gel pens or you're using um, colored, colored pencils or alcohol markers, this would be perfect for you to practice those skills. Even for me, who I am someone who doesn't use alcohol markers a whole lot, when I do use alcohol markers, I tend to overlay them with colored pencils to create my shadows and such, but I like to take some time out sometimes to sit there and just practice with my alcohol markers and blending them together, and this paper in these books is absolutely perfect for that. You're getting a lot of images in this book. There are so many in here. And they're all so very different. You get a really good variety. And then some of them cover the whole page. Some of them leave room for backgrounds. If you are someone who wants to practice your backgrounds. Oh wow, this one's very different. That is so, so cool. There's a lot of room to practice your blending on this page here. Here's another one that covers the whole entire page. Oh, and this one is different, look at that. And then here's one that is in a square. Oh, I think I skipped a page. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at this one even has some leaves inside the mandala. That is so pretty. You can color this one with a bunch of different green shades and make like a monochromatic type mandala. That would be beautiful. That's another great thing to practice if you've never done it. I would like to actually sit down and practice that and make a monochromatic um, color scheme on one of my coloring pages. I think mandalas would be a great opportunity to be able to do that and practice that. That is the new Color It Coloring Book, and you do get 50 uh, original hand-drawn designs in this book, and the paper is wonderful. If you check the description box below, I will have a link down there to this coloring book. I may also have a coupon code down there for you for 10% off. This next book is Dragon Life by Deborah Muller. This is a pretty new release of hers that has been released I think maybe a month ago, but this book is just all dragons and it's very mystical, very fantasy-like, and you all know that I love Deborah Muller's coloring books. Anything that she puts out, I just have to have it. I went from coloring Joanna Basford straight to Deborah Muller when I discovered her. That was all I colored, and especially when I wanted to learn how to color skin and hair and all of those things, I used all of her artwork to practice all of those skills. So this book is the hard copy of the book. You can also purchase a PDF of her books on her Etsy store, and I'll try to make sure that is linked down below as well. These are printed on the Amazon paper. And as we all know, the Amazon paper is on the thinner side. I mean, it's not too bad. I have colored on this paper for the longest time and I've never had a problem. I really enjoy coloring on this paper with my Prisma colors. I actually had a video that I did of an old coloring page that I had colored when I was more so a beginner and just practicing skin and I redid that coloring page. It was a Deborah Muller uh, coloring page that I had colored and I redid the whole entire page now to sort of show you the difference in my coloring then and my coloring now. And I had no issue coming back and laying my Prisma colors down and laying more layers and more layers. You can also use alcohol markers on this paper. I've used alcohol markers. I just stick something behind the, the page so that it doesn't bleed through. But on her books, they are all one-sided all throughout the book, so you don't have to worry about the bleed through running the next page. And if you wanted to purchase the book just because 
you want to have books in your collection, that is the main reason that I purchase all of the books and not just the PDFs. I like to have the PDF and sometimes the book because I just like to have the books in my collection just because I like to collect coloring books like most of us do. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do a flip through of this coloring book and I'm going to set that to music. the cutest book. If you enjoy dragons and you want to learn how to color the scales like multicolor, kind of like you see here on the cover of the book, you can do so much with the images in this book and really just bring them to life with so much color, practicing your multicolor um, color combinations and trying to mix colors together that you wouldn't generally mix together. If you've never seen any of Deborah Muller's work before, I would go look through her Etsy store or check her out on Amazon because she is one of the artists that creates coloring books that has absolutely something for everyone. If you want to learn and practice your skin and your hair and applying makeup on portraits, you can do so. If you want to color dragons, you can do so. She's got fairies. She has a little bit of everything. This is The Magic Garden by Deborah Muller. So we've got another new release by Deborah Muller. This is the most recent new release. This has only been out for a couple weeks, I believe. But she just sent me this, and I just got this in the mail today. And this one has lots of fairies in it and cute little animals and everything else. So like I said earlier, she has a little bit of something for everyone. She must have published hundreds of coloring books now. So when I say there's something for everyone, there is definitely something for everyone. So on the paper in this book, I don't know if I suggested earlier, but the pencils that work best on the paper in these Amazon books that I have found are my Prismacolors and my Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils. The Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils, if you lay those down on the Amazon paper, you will be totally surprised because they work very, very well in these books for those of you that have that set of pencils. Let's go ahead and do the flip through of this book and I'm going to set it to music.
That was Deborah Muller's The Magic Garden, and I would say there was a lot of everything, a little bit of everything in that book. I saw gnomes, fairies, I saw a possum, and I saw frogs, and there was just so much. Bunnies. So if you enjoyed this book, there will be a link down in the description box below, and I will also try to make sure that I have a link to her Etsy store because she's got tons in her Etsy store. This is the next book I have, and this is Fairy Tales. This book has been out for quite some time. I think that I've showed you all of the new releases that I had, but this one is Fairy Tales, and this says it is by Emily Lydhall Oberg. I probably messed up her name, so I apologize. <laughs> But this one's been out for quite some time, and I purchased this when they did the buy one, that most recent sale, the buy one, get one, 50% off the next book on Amazon. So I just received this book yesterday, and I was not really happy with Amazon lately and the way my books are coming to me because this book is gorgeous. The front cover is absolutely beautiful, but it has little black marks on my cover and a dented corner and I would assume because this is one of the older coloring books because when I order new releases I don't have that issue but I did contact Amazon anytime y'all have a problem with something that comes to you in the mail contact Amazon because their customer service is absolutely amazing they did go ahead and credit me for the coloring book and I really appreciate that so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this one, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the paper. Oh, this one has nice paper. Now this isn't typically the type of coloring book that I would purchase um, as far as the artwork, but I wanted to try a little something different, and I've kind of been watching this book or looking at this book for quite some time. I just had never purchased it, and I figured it was a great time to go ahead and add it to my collection with the sale that was going on or the promotion that Amazon was running. But the artwork is absolutely adorable. Some of it sort of reminds me a little bit of Hannah Carlson. Some of it a little bit like maybe Maria Trolle, kind of in between, I guess. But the paper is absolutely wonderful. And it feels like it may be about 80 pound. It is not a bright white paper. It is more the color of the paper in the Maria Trolle books. And it feels like it does have a little bit of tooth. Actually, it feels a lot like the paper in Maria Trolle books. I'm probably really going to love this book. So just by feeling the paper, I can tell that probably the same pencils that work in the Maria Trolle books would work fabulously in this book as well. It has the same amount of tooth. The paper is the same color. It looks almost identical to the paper in those books. So I would probably say that the pencils that I suggested for that book, the 120 Brute Fooners, as well as my Prismacolors, and what was the and the Artezas? I would say that those would all probably work fabulously in this book on this paper. And the artwork in this book is adorable. Look how cute. It looks like there is quite a variety in this book from animals to buildings. Here we have a cool little birdhouse with some birds, a teepee. There is quite a variety in here. I think I saw like a little shop, like a little candy shop somewhere when I was flipping through some hot air balloons. So that's a really cute book. And again, if you're interested in this book, there will be a link down in the description box below. Let's go ahead and move on to the next book. Okay, y'all, this is a book that I've been wanting for quite some time. <laughs> And I finally purchased it when Amazon had their promotion, so I'm totally excited about this. This is a gorgeous book. It totally looks like a collector's edition, like everybody just needs to have this in their coloring book collection. So this is The Ink House by Rory Dobner. And the paper in this book is amazing. Like just feeling this paper, it's got quite a bit of tooth. The pages, I mean, the paper is pretty thick, a pretty thick cardstock. It feels a little bit thicker than what you would get in the Maria Trolle books. The paper is a bright white paper, so your pencils are going to look beautiful 
on here up against this bright white. Let's go ahead and I'll just show you a couple of the images in this book before we do the flip through because the artwork in this book is just absolutely amazing and it is so different. Look at that castle, like a spooky like castle. That is just so cool. I've never colored anything like that before or any of the artwork in this book for that matter. The artwork is so different. Look at the artwork in this book. It is just, I've never seen anything else like it. And it is sort of a story with the words and such that you have on each of the pages. So it's sort of like a coloring book with a story added in as well. I would assume just by feeling the paper that Prismacolors would work beautifully in this book. It does have a little bit of tooth, but it feels sort of like the paper that is in the Kirby Rosanna's books. If I had to compare. Now look at the gray or the grayscale in this book. It is so different. It's more like a cool gray, grayscale. There's no other book like this. This is just something that you want to just, I don't know, I'll probably just lay this out on the table in my um, studio here, my art studio. Look at the artwork. It's just so, so different. I've seen several pages where people have colored this page and it turns out so pretty. But I can imagine just, you've already got the black background here on this hat and then coming in here to color the inside portion of the hat with a color, oh, that would just be so beautiful. The pop that that would create in your colors would be just amazing. <laughs> Look at this artwork. This is just so different there. I don't, I really don't think there is another coloring book that is really comparable to this one. I've seen several coloring pages where people have completed this page as well. And I just love the mix of the different grays on the page. This gray, this um, cooler gray that's in a lot of the images and over here on this pillow, it looks almost blue. This would be an adorable page to color. Did I skip a page? No, the paper is actually just that thick that I thought I skipped a page. <laughs> Reggie the Rock Ape. Oh, how cute. Look at the difference in the grayscale. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at the adorable frog. Okay, so I'm going to flip through the rest of the book and I'm going to set this part to music. on this book are just that this book is everything that I thought it would be. I just had never taken the time to order it and just when I saw it on the promotion on Amazon I was just okay now is the time let me go ahead and order it so I can have this book in my collection but it looks like a collector's edition of a coloring book and would be great just to lay out on a table you know for decoration or leave it like I said here in my filming slash art studio to where I could just lay it out on one of the tables just for decoration just because it is that beautiful. It's got the black really hard backs 
on the covers. And then it's got this gorgeous gold embossing with a little see-through window here with the artwork. This gorgeous picture of the lion. And then if we turn it around on the back, it has this gold embossing here where it just says, Welcome to the Ink House, an artist's mysterious mansion built on a magical pool of ink that inspires creativity in anyone who lives there. When the artist goes adventuring, animals great and small arrive for the annual Ink House extrava extravaganza. Come inside. The party is about to begin. I don't know. This book is just, it's really, really cool. So if you're interested in this book, I'll also have a link down in the description box below. Let's move on to the next one. The next book I have is a Creative Haven book. And I've been looking at this book for quite some time because I wanted to be able to color some interiors. And these books are so super cheap that there's no reason not to have them. I did order these books from Amazon. I have another Creative Haven that I'm going to show you next. But I've got the Home Sweet Home. I got these also on the promotion that Amazon was running, so I got them for so super cheap. But this paper, I don't believe, this is not, yeah, this is by Dover. This is not the Amazon paper, but it is, I think, similar to the Amazon paper. Yes, it's very similar to the Amazon paper. I think that the Amazon paper feels like it might have a little bit more tooth than this paper. And I'm not sure. Let me see about a color comparison here. Let me grab one of my Amazon printed books, one of these Deborah Muller books. And we could actually put them right up against each other. This one is a smoother paper, and this one does have more tooth. So the Amazon paper is going to have a bit more tooth. And as far as thickness, this paper is a little bit thicker. This paper is going to be thicker and smoother, and this one is going to be thinner but has a little bit more tooth for you. And this one is more of an off-white, and this one is more white. So the Amazon paper is more of a white color. So that is the comparison between that and the Amazon paper. But I would assume just by feeling this that your Prismacolors would go down beautifully on this paper. I'm going to try it and I will let you all know. But this book contains just a bunch of different interiors. And of course, like I said, it's called Home Sweet Home. So everything is just inside the home. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip through this book and I'm going to set that to music now. Home Sweet Home by Creative Haven. The artist of this book is actually Teresa Goodridge and I have another one that I'm about to show you that she is the artist as well. She seems to be one of the favorite artists in the Creative Haven line. If you noticed as I was flipping through the book you can see that it does have the black lines on the coloring pages and they are all one-sided 
and then you have the perforations on every single page in this coloring book. So if you wanted to be able to tear out your pages, you could. You all know that I always suggest the Spring Hill paper, and I know a lot of you have purchased that paper. I also like the Nina paper, the 67 pound vellum Bristol. But if you would like to print these out on your own paper, you can do so. You could even do that from right in the book. You don't even have to tear them out to do that. But if you like to work with your pages outside of your book, these would be great books for you. The next book I have is also Creative Haven, and it is the Country Charm coloring book. I thought this book was absolutely adorable. It's also by Teresa Goodridge. Again, the company is Dover that prints these books. And I won't go over the entire book again because I just did that with the last one and my pencil suggestions and all of that of course will remain the same because the paper is going to be the same inside this book. So let's go ahead and get into the flip through of this one. Country Charm by Teresa Goodridge and Creative Haven. I hope that you enjoyed that flip through. Again, this book here does still have, it is the same as the previous one, and so it does still have the darker black um, lines on the pages. It is still a smoother uh, book, or pages in the book are a little bit smoother, but it is thicker than the Amazon paper. And there are quite a few adorable images in this book. If you're looking to color something different, like to me, this is just very different from what I would normally color. And so that's why I grabbed a couple of these books. I really think I could add color to these pages and really just bring them to life. So that was a lot of coloring books. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this flip through and a little bit of a review. I love being able to review each book just a little bit as well as do the flip through and just pile all of my new books all into one video. And I hope that this brought you all a lot of helpful information. I hope that you found something that you may enjoy. If you check the description box below, I'll have links down there to all of these coloring books if you would like to grab one of these for yourself. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Happy coloring. Bye.